Hej, w dzisiejszym odcinku rozpoczniemy od misji pobocznych. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might in fact have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home, when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me, just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted, and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He and my mother Raise me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my. That is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. To tutaj już byśmy mieli misję z Nati załatwioną. Today's lesson we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. A 
Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the Bell Tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh... That wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly, some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lodgok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Well, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here in the Bell Tower entrance hall. All students introduce themselves to this hero. Ah, that was the pay on to the day, ain't ya? Rebellion. Oh yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Keen eyed students will spot the statue of the bell and the cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. These bits of broom are all that's left of a witch called Feline Warden. This, this is a centuries old likeness of Pangadon. Fearless mouse hunter and devoted study like companion. Rabbit. People have always loved Father their pets. And I find that comforting. And sculleries, where his warm and approachable demeanor was celebrated by old friends and newcomers alike. I encourage everyone to make the waving statues acquaintance. Revelio. Mahayanti Ritzes. Przez chwilę nie widziałem kogo słuchać i co czytać, no tak się napisy ułożyły. As one would expect, Hogwarts contains no narthexes, since obviously those would not be found in castles. Professor Binns, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. 
Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Nothing quite so magical as history. Dusty, immutable history. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. Okay, jesteśmy po niezwykle cudownych zajęciach, więc poszukam czegoś ciekawego do zrobienia. If you fail history of magic, you're doomed to repeat it. The, the class, that is. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Oh, bardzo fajnie, że mamy feniksy do znalezienia, bo przyda nam się do ulepszania naszych przedmiotów. Ja się zastanawiałem, czy rzucić ten na odcinek, ale przejście do nowej części świata jak najbardziej zostawię.
Kurczę, tam był ten worek. bez szans do podniesienia. Więc po prostu idziemy dalej. Dajcie zabrać wszystko, co tutaj było. Dobra, zrobimy to tak. Ach, nie wiem, tak. To jest to Tam na dole coś jest, a żeby wejść tam na dół, to chyba tędy musimy. Czy nie? Nie tędy. Ja tu nie mogę użyć. Tutaj są schody. Okej, okay, pójdziemy do przodu, może będą te schody na dół. balony to od razu je zrobimy. Oj. Mm, Merlina to zrobimy. Could it be a Merlin trial? Tym, tym. Tu, tu, tu. O, tam jest. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me.
Gdzieś to był ten jeden balon. Tam jest. I pójdziemy normalnie drogą. To mnie interesuje na ten moment. Teraz skoczyliśmy na nowy obszar i mamy pełno aktywności. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Dokąd te motylki nas zaprowadzą? Tylko stół. Tu jest raz. Tam jest dwa, tam jest trzy. Ok. Aj. Nie było. Jest. Jest. Tak, to niepotrzebne. Feels like I've been at this for hours. One less human to worry about. I już po wszystkim. Fajny ten nowy obszar. Sporo zagrożenia w postaci goblinów. O, coś to się bardzo przyda. Energia. Part i dwa na górze. Jest to. Tu mam 
mamy skrzyneczkę. Tutaj coś będzie jeszcze? To już chyba nic. A jednak. Bombarda mamy. Pasek do góry. Ja to powinienem dostawić, żeby wejść wyżej. Tu. Gdzieś tam z góry będzie trzeba wskoczyć. Dokładnie tak. I ostatnie miejsce mocy. I możemy stąd iść. Jeszcze po drodze. Zrobimy trona, bo potrzebujemy doświadczenia. I jesteśmy już na miejscu misji. Oh. 
blockade. Brookwood's poachers are already here. Taka blockade, że jeden strzał i odblokowany. Revelio. Bombarda jeszcze. Tylko właśnie mamy dwie drogi. I kompletnie nie wiem, którędy pójść. Co gdzie jest? Aha, żeby tam wejść, to musimy pójść tu bokiem. A tu jest to. Takim wyjściem można już powiedzieć szybkie. A tutaj pójdziemy do tej skrzyni, którą właśnie chciałem. Ale skrzyni syf. Potrzebujemy, mamy aż na to. Wszyscy zabici. Wszyscy. Dobra, tam jest coś. No, chyba musimy iść tędy. The Phoenix. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Gdzieś tam, czyli musimy iść tutaj dookoła. Będzie. Z niczym ciekawym. Ha. Ha. There it is again. 
Ja go nie widzę. Ty go widzisz. Tam chyba nie ma szansu schodzić. Tylko same grzyby. Ale tutaj... Ty nie. Chyba trzeba zaskoczyć. Stąd z góry. Tak zróbmy. Trochę lepsze, ale dalej nic ciekawego. Chodźmy po tego Feniksa, abyśmy mogli ulepszać bezproblemowo przedmioty. A, pajączki będą nas atakować niedługo. Kompletnie nie tak chciałem zagrać. Ale w małej przestrzeni dużo ciężej jest grać i unikać tych wszystkich ataków. Skrzynie, a skrzyneczka nas interesuje. Co dostaniemy? Teleskop. Nie, Lumos, tylko bombarda. I jeden w dół. Cześć, Feniksie. No, 
podmieniam krucjo. Ale łatwo. Ale ładnie tutaj. I chyba już niespodzianek nie będzie. Did you find the Phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the room of requirement. Look at all you've done and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. Zobaczmy ten nowy lokum dla Feniksa. Zróbmy karmnik. E, gdzie jest przywoływania? To. To i to potrzebujemy. Akcesoria dla zwierząt. Karmnik. Teraz jeszcze potrzebujemy karboroga. O, trzy pióreczka, no ładnie, ładnie. Fajna miejscówka. Myślę, że w tym odcinku by było to wszystko, a w następnym udamy się po kolejne misje poboczne.